Hello everyone, welcome back to our marathon of videos here. Um, we are moving on to the Bath & Body Works Holiday Traditions Collection. Uh, if you haven't seen my other videos, please check those out first or next. Um, in that we do, we've got sort of our overview video as well as in-depth reviews of the White Barn Woods Collection. Then we moved on to the Celebrations Collection. And now we're doing a lot of folks' favorites, not my favorite, um, but an interesting line, The what has now been called for the past two years, the Bath & Body Works Holiday Traditions Collection. Um, of course, this is a year for sweets, for, or this time of year, for sweets and bakery items. I generally am not a huge fan of the sweets and the bakeries, um, but give me something really authentic or really amazing, and you know, you can hook me with almost any type of, there's no scent that I don't, you know, am completely against and don't purchase. Um, clearly, you can see, you know, cupcakes are one of my least favorite, and I have a red velvet cupcake candle here, so anything's possible. Um, but this is a big collection. This, there are, right now, at least in the store I went to, there are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cents. Wouldn't surprise me if there were more. Um, I'm sure, that, sure there are some missing that folks are looking for. Um, I can tell you right off the bat, these two newbies, we had red velvet cake and cinnamon caramel swirl. They also had returning Mary Cookie, which is basically a dupe of homemade cookies. Mary Cookie first debuted last year. Twisted Peppermint, the classic. It's appeared in many different forms and collections and lines, but it is the Twisted Peppermint everyone loves that uh, also comes in the body care many years. Um, cinnamon Frosting, which came out last year. Um, I was hoping it was going to be a vanilla spice, um, based on the fact that it was vanilla and spice put together, but uh, it was very much heavy on the buttercream with cinnamon added to it. Um, so that's returning. Um, vanilla B. Noel, the classic sort of milky, I always think it smells a bit like yogurt. Um, vanilla B. Noel, uh, which is also part of the uh, signature body care collection. Winter Candy Apple, which I've never purchased in candles or in body care, actually. I think it's, I know it's a lot of people's favorites, and, um, which is great. You know, everyone has, has different things they like. To me, it's just really, it's, I don't know why it's a winter scent. Candy apple is not winter to me. Um, it doesn't even smell like an authentic candy apple. It's just really drippingly sweet and almost a little kind of edge of floral or something to it, where, like, when I've used the pocket back before, it just leaves my hands smelling so strong. Um, and it doesn't smell like a winter note or even like a candy apple note, it just smells like that scent does. It's sort of like, um, you know, when, when if you get a craving for like fast food, you're not craving, you know, a good hamburger, you're craving how that type of food tastes. So with, if that makes any sense, um, with, so that one, like to me, winter candy apple, if you like it, it you like that scent, you know, it's not that you like, you know, candy apple scents, but um, again, which is totally fine. Like, if you like it, that's that's awesome. I just don't like it. Um, but then we have Frosted Gingerbread, um, which is another one I don't really like that much. I, I like gingerbread scents. Um, to me, I know it's strange, but from the first year, this is the third year it's coming back now. Um, to me, it always just smells like um, tortilla chips. and I don't know why. Um, almost like the hint of lime Tostitos tortilla chips. There's something in it that is like just weird. It's good. It, it's you know, it's a little bit of a spice to it from the gingerbread, and there's some frosting in there, like a dried on, like, royal icing kind of frosting. So it's nice. It's, I just don't love it enough to buy. Um, frosted Cupcake, which I, I must admit I completely hate. I don't think it smells like frosting. I don't think it smells like a cupcake. I don't know what it smells like. It smells like plastic to me. Um, I purchased it when it first came out in 2010. Um, and I still haven't burned through the candle, and I try to burn it every year, and I burn it once or twice, and it just stinks. Um, but clearly, super, super popular. Um, to my nose, it just doesn't smell like what it's supposed to smell like. I know but lots of people, um, it works for them. And mint chocolate, which su is surprising me that it came back, because mint chocolate was in the semi-annual sale collection with Ice Cream Shop, Caramel Apple, Apple Crumble. Um, none of those came back, but maybe Mint Chocolate was such a huge seller that they decided to throw it in this collection. Um, but it is your, you know, your Andes Mint, um, your Heavy Heavy on the Mint, and your Dark Chocolate, um, your Creamy Dark Chocolate, um, in like, you know, that bright green mint wax. So that's back if you love that. Um, then, again, the Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. And finally, another new one that I did not get called Buttercream Mint. Now, the weird thing about that one, um, and I, I was going to tell you a little bit about the, the labels. The labels are all sort of like this, um, these ones. So they're kind of more rectangular. They've got like the, um, 
sort of the, the string around them, like the, the, the candy cane string or like a string from a bakery wrapped around the labels. Um, and it's just like very, you know, ooey gooey. Um, it seems like photography that they may have actually used on their own instead of, so often it seems like they use like stock photography um, or stock images, which maybe this is too, but they did a good job of throwing in um, backgrounds of like holiday sweaters or um, wrapping paper or something to make it more uniquely their own. And I um, actually didn't really love a lot of the, the images. I liked the labels from last year a little bit better. Um, Twisted Peppermint especially I hated. It looks like like pink candy and it's ribbony and it's like a lollipop of a like a big round peppermint swirl but with, on a lollipop and like lots of stuff going on in the label and it just looked crappy I didn't like it you know there was the one last year that was like sort of the peppermint swirl background and just a twisted peppermint uh, and then of course the snowman one with the blue wax which I actually really enjoy as well um, but it just I thought it was ugly this year um, trying to remember other ones frosted gingerbread is just it's kind of basic it's a gingerbread man um, again, this is for the, the label aficionados out there like myself. Um, Frosted Cupcake was just sort of an updated version of the standard Frosted Cupcake. Uh, Mint Chocolate was really nice. I can't remember. It looked nothing like the semi-annual sale label. I don't remember exactly what it looked like. If it was ice cream, I don't think it looked like ice cream. But, gosh, I cannot remember exactly what it looked like. Um, what am I missing out here? Vanilla Bean Noel, I also don't remember that one. It was sort of, again, it was white with some green on the label, sort of standard, what you'd expect. Winter Candy Apple was red, as always. The weird one, Buttercream Mint. So it was a macaron, you know, the French um, the French cookie that's sort of the craze now, where it's like the, the two sort of wafer um, almond egg white cookies um, with a filling in it. Um, and the wax was a mint green... Uh, it's a mint green macaron with some sort of filling, um, you know, some decorative things on the rest of the label. And sniffing it, and the, and the notes were pretty basic, it was like creamy, you know, vanilla buttercream with, with whipped mint or a hint of mint or a touch of mint, something sort of softer. But the strange thing was, mint chocolate and buttercream mint are so super similar. Um, right down to the color of the wax and the design of the labels, um, makes me think that maybe buttercream mint is a test scent, um, but there's really no need to have both of those candles. And I'm someone who buys a ridiculous amount of candles. Um, and since I have a mint chocolate from the semi-annual sale, as much as I love buying new scents, I just couldn't bring myself to buy buttercream mint. Now, it's not the exact same. Um, mint chocolate is heavy on the mint with some chocolate in the background. Buttercream mint is... I, um, I didn't like it better, but it was definitely a softer mint. It was more, it was buttercream, but it was more of a whipped vanilla, I almost want to say meringue, as opposed to really heavy buttercream in the way that cinnamon frosting or frosted cupcake has that buttercream note. It was much more um, a, a lighter whipped feeling of vanilla with a little bit of a soft mint in it. Um, so it was nice, but Again, the color and the notes, they were just so similar to mint chocolate that I don't know why, out of all the things they could have come up with, or even past things that they've had, I don't know why they didn't bring something else about, out, something else back um, and, you know, in place of things that were so similar to each other. So, you know, the mysteries continue with Bath & Body Works. But, eight minutes into this video, uh, before we start getting complaints in the comments below, let's move on to reviewing the two newbies we've got here. So, Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. Not, I'm not a huge super fan of this. Um, again, if I was just buying candles for myself and not because I was excited to review them, I'm not positive I would have bought this. Um, but I liked it enough to spend the, the seven or eight bucks on it. And the notes on it read, The ultimate blend of creamy caramel, cinnamon, and sweet vanilla creates the most delectable fragrance treat. Um, so on here we've got like a, a white cake, cupcake with, oh, I don't know, whipped whipped cream, sweet vanilla, with a, a light drizzle of caramel on it. Not exactly, there's really no bakery or cupcake note in this, um, but if I sniff it, I do like it. Oh, you know what I'm, I'm actually missing that I loved last year was the sugar and spice candle, and I that one is not back, and I it was a test scent, and I really liked it, and I don't know why they wouldn't bring that one back, but this is actually a little similar to, the, to that one. It's actually, I think the reason I like this caramel um, again, I'm not usually a huge fan of, like, the maple -y, really buttery, ooey-gooey caramels. Um, this one is, 
the caramel in this reminds me a lot of Cider Lane's caramel, which is very traditional, pure caramel. Um, not nearly as intense, and that's not the only note in this, but I'd say it's a good 30% of the intensity of Cider Lane's caramel, but it's the same kind of caramel, which is quite nice. Um, I'd say almost throw in some burnt sugar. Um, like if you've seen, oh gosh, I'm just seeing the, 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 the caramel sauce in there. It reminds me of like, if you've ever seen, um, I think Martha Stewart did it years ago or something. The, uh, what was it? It's like a tower of, um, French pastry puffs. Um, that's like that, like that egg flour, or like flour and egg, um, pastry dough and like little cream puffs. And then they take, um, bubbling, boiling sugar and they sort of just like, they take a whisk and they just go like, you know, throw the whisk all over it and it makes like sugar strands, like hardened sugar strands. That kind of burnt sugar, like creme brulee sugar, is also in here. Definitely, yeah, this is, I, I didn't notice this the first time I sniffed it, but now I'm definitely getting a burnt sugar, but really nicely burnt sugar note in it. Um, I get almost, it's, it reminds me a little bit of the cinnamon frosting candle. Um, not as creamy, but it's got sort of that similar the cinnamon is a similar cinnamon. So it's not your typical spicy cinnamon, it's more muted, almost a creamy cinnamon, I, I suppose from the frosting or whatever sort of vanilla or, you know, richness is in here, overpowers any sort of spice or, you know, red, red hot kind of cinnamony candle or bark, you know, the cinnamon bark. So I kind of like this, I'm, I'm surprised, but yeah, so like a bit of Cider Lane, a burnt sugar, which is different than like a burnt caramel. It's more like a, a, again, just a burnt sugar, like a crispy burnt sugar candy almost. Like sugar crystals, like burnt sugar crystals. Mixed with, you know, some warm cinnamon. I don't really get any cakey notes though, which I don't think they mention here, right? It was just a fragrance treat, vanilla. Yes, yeah, sweet vanilla. Ultimate blend. It's really nice. If you like these kind of scents, you'll love this. Um, it's really nicely done. And then moving on to a candle that people have been waiting for Bath & Butterworks to make for years now, I feel. Um, Red Velvet Cupcake. It looks like sort of a cake pop here or something. Um, and this one, I'm a little torn. I go back and forth. It's not the best ever. It's not the most authentic ever, but it's good enough to purchase. Um, and I think people will probably really like it. Um, again, so just really pretty label. I love I love any sort of the baker treats that have those really huge sugar crystals that you kind of crunch. Um, on them. I like that kind of thing. Um, this says, this Southern Classic is perfect for the holidays. Rich vanilla frosting and authentic red velvet cake. So, red velvet cake, really, I mean, people are, are sometimes obsessed with it, and it's pretty and all, but really, it's just chocolate cake with vanilla. I'm sorry. Chocolate cake with, um, or devil's food cake, some sort of chocolate cake with red food dye in it. It's not like it's a, you know, its own flavor or anything like that. Um, but, so, it's a chocolate, it's not a white cake or yellow cake that we're, we're trying to sniff here. Um, I know that a lot of times, red velvet comes with a cream cheese frosting. This is not that. This is a vanilla frosting, I assume buttercream. Um, so really, basic. So, red velvet cake and, you know, uh, vanilla frosting is what we're looking for. Really nice wax color, too. It reminds me of, um, it was actually two or three years ago they had a pocket back um, in red velvet cupcake or red velvet cake and it actually it was very authentic it was more authentic than sort of any other chocolate I've, I've had them I've seen them do or sort of cupcakes and this is pretty similar to that um, it's you know sometimes half the time when I sniff it it smells almost identical really to frosted cupcake um, which sort of makes sense because frosted cupcake is frosting in a white cake and this is frosting in a chocolate cake chocolate or vanilla cakes don't really smell that different. Chocolate and vanilla do, but in cakes, they're kind of hard to tell the difference, you know, at least in candle form, uh, unless they're obvious with heavy cocoa or something, which this is not. Um, but then other times I sniff it, and I really do smell like that cakey, like a really moist cake. Um, yeah, like a pudding, you know, pudding cake, like the cake mixes that have pudding in them or something like that. Like, really, really gooey, but cake. So, yeah, it's, I mean, I think I'm not probably the best nose to judge authenticity. Well, no, I'm a good nose for judging authenticity of baked good sense because, you know, cinnamon sugar donut, whatever, 
uh, that is obvious. Um, buttercream scents aren't my favorite. Um, frosting scents aren't my favorite. So I know that uh, me liking or not liking it doesn't mean anything with you liking or not liking unless you like the same things that I do. Um, so I think that for the folks who really love these type of scents, um, I think you'll love this one. Uh, it's certainly got like the marketing and the mood that a lot of people were looking for with Red Velvet Cupcake. It's fun. It's, it looks good for the holidays. It smells good. Basically, it works. So yeah, that one's pretty good. Um, so that is the overview of the Holiday Traditions collection, which again, um, just a quick overview of the candles in that were uh, Merry Cookie, the Red Velvet Cupcake, Twisted Peppermint, Cinnamon Frosting, Vanilla Bean Noel, Winter Candy Apple, Frosted Gingerbread, Frosted Cupcake, Mint Chocolate, Cinnamon Caramel Swirl, and Buttercream Mint. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe Sugar and Spice will come back from last year as the test scent, um, but Cinnamon Caramel Swirl is pretty nice, so I would actually recommend that for folks, even though it sounds not that exciting. I really, really like that. So uh, stay tuned for the final video of the collection, uh, which will be the, we're going to call it the Snow Day Collection. I think that's what it was last year, and that's what it looks like it should be this year, uh, including lots of returning favorites um, and a couple of newbies, including Spiced Wreath and Snow Day. Um, a little preview, Snow Day, one of my favorite scents. Um, I'd say probably Champagne Toast and Snow Day are my two favorite scents out of the 12 that I purchased here. And Snow Day is probably going to end up being a really, really top pick for winter fragrances for me. Um, so stay tuned for that video coming up next. And if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, hit me up. And until next time, take care.